Hello everybody, in today's Roblox Studio video, I will be showcasing how to script a part and to make it change colors rapidly and change other attributes such as material and a few other ones too. So we're going to be doing lots of stuff here and yeah guys. Let's jump right into this. Sorry, if you guys are hearing dinging, it's just my phone. The phone isn't too far away. But anyway, let's get on with this video. So first, before you do anything else when scripting these objects, you always, I repeat, always want to have a script ready. Yeah, so uh, assuming that you know how to do that, but if you don't, you hit the plus sign, look for the script. But first, you want backspace, hello world, like I did, and we're gonna put in. <sighs> and we're gonna define a local variable. And then define what it is. So, right here, the local, right here, determines that the following text is a variable until we reach the equal sign. The equal sign indicates that this is, and then script.parent is this, and then it's parent, which is the neon block. That's how that works. Then we create a loop, the while true do loop. And here, we what we need to do is yeah change the attributes so let's do weight you could do math so i'm going to do math.random 0.1 to 1 so that way we can have it just pick random numbers. So we have, and then let's change some attributes here. So, I mean properties, excuse me. So we're gonna be changing a lot of these appearance properties here. Now we're gonna get the hard one over with, which is changing the material. So you gotta do this a little bit differently, guys. So first, you gotta, Type in block target if you define the local variable. You're going to need to type in script.parent every single time if you do not define the local variable. Now let's add another weight. One and assign another set of numbers. Just like that. So our script looks just like that. And yeah. So our script looks just like that, and what we can do here is we'll charge the, change the material again, but we're going to go back and edit the script. And we'll, def we'll state the variable again, material. And let's just go back and hit play here and guys I'm doing this with a different account so that way yeah so play this so as you can see right here it's flickering so yeah our script is working so it so it makes sort of a flash and then it says all those things too. 
Also, guys, I hope you like the music, too. This is Night by Roblox Slowed Down. But anyway, I'm gonna stop it so that way we can continue editing the script. So, yeah, we're gonna be doing lots of stuff now. So we're gonna be changing more and more properties. And how we're gonna do this is how we're gonna do this is we're gonna continue the weights but change many properties upon between these two weights functions right here. Because the weight is a function, guys. That's how it works. It's a built in Roblox function. Those of you who don't know, because if we type it out like this You'll notice that it has two parentheses at the end, and that indicates that it's a function. So, in case for those of you who didn't know, yeah. So, let's keep going with this, and... Yeah. Let's keep moving on. So, first, we're going to define the block target. We're going to state block target variable again. And we're going to do... I don't know. Let's pick a let's pick one. Center of mass. Let's pick one here. Uh, let's do no. Let's do brick color. And how you do this property is you do equals brick color. The new. And here, beyond here, you need to add a string. That's quotation marks, guys. And, yeah. Lime green. There we go. And you can see, we can get any... We can go and get fetch any of these right here. Okay? Rather than using the color property right here. You want... I find it a lot easier to use brick color. I don't... I'm not entirely sure... About color though but yeah let's keep doing this and now it's to change it back now it's hot pink now so block target dot brick color equals brick color dot dot new Hot pink. There we go. And now I'm trying to find a good. Which color is are these over here? Bright green. Okay. Let's edit the script again. So I said that that was bright green. So bright. Where is it? Red's here somewhere. Bright red, bright yeah, violet, bright green. Here we go. There we go. So it's a string. And let's we're gonna change a few more properties and I'm gonna end the video. So let's go find a new one. Go find a new one. Let's do transparency. This one's a. This one requires a value to do. We're gonna do another math.random statement and put let's 
zero, one, row. So we don't need to put this on the other side unless we want it to change more frequently, but this is necessary because it's just going to do random transparencies. Actually, you know what? Maybe it is necessary. Let's do it. Only this time we're not going to use the math function anymore. <clears throat> Zero. Anyway, guys, let's play it one more time. And then I'll end this video. So, as you can see, here we go. Doesn't seem like anything's ha Oh, yes, it is. Oh, God. Ooh. From it there, I actually didn't think it was working, but it is. It's invisible for a few seconds. But anyway, guys, this all goes to show you what you can do with computers, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you'll never miss a single video that I post. Peace out, and have an awesome day. And again, don't forget to subscribe, it'll add on to your awesome day.